Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Harry Potter 2023 review, and this is on the Gryffindor House Banner set that is now being released. Well, now I do have the rest of the sets of this week, so expect them every other day, of course. So on the front of the box here, which is just the same as the Hogwarts Moments book sets ones, but of course these are which $5 more than that, but more on that later. But as you have the Lego Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo, and also a picture of everything that there is, minifigs in the quarter, and 3D images, of course. And then recommended ages 9 and up, set number uh, 76409, has 285 pieces. <clears throat> On the back of the box, turn sideways, you can have, see all the banner opened up, of course, and there's 3D images there, and out of all the banner sets, which I have yet to review in other videos, of course, and how it opens up, of course. And that's about it with the box. <coughs> and on to the instruction manual, which kind of that odd basic image thing like they've been doing for the past years, of course. First of which is how they're transitioning to paper bags. And then after the Builder app. <clears throat> on the back, I went on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then out of all the other uh, Hogwarts uh, banner sets, of course. And also the main logo in the center. And the last building step. Onto the mini freaks included. First, we have a uh, Harry Potter, which would be a uh, face print and hair piece, kind of similar to we had with the last couple of years of which, and of course, all of the torso printing, which is probably exclusive to this set. As in, with the kind of scruffles, tassels on the down, downwards, of course. And not an only light printing for all of these figs, but whatever. And next, which uh, Neville Longbottom, kind of the same as he's been since uh, 2021. Like, with the similar face print, everything. And then, oh, who's probably exclusive to this is Angelina Johnson. And, which wearing a wearing a Gryffindor sweater on there, a which printing for that quite nicely and also good face printing and nice use of this hair piece, a which but also kind of but at least great to have a bit of diversity in our uh, Wizarding World minifigs, of course. <clears throat> but also, but also good to see here as well, and also, and of course, all of which had the similar wand pieces in different colors. Nice to see there. <clears throat> and on the back side, which has the same exact back hood printing since 2021 with Neville, of course. And on the back, and of course, all of which do have quite good back torso printing and double-sided faces, and all the Harry and Neville's kind of same from the last few couple sets, of course, but Angelina's, of which also quite good as well. Yes, and that's about it with the mini things included. Now onto the Gryffindor house banner itself. It's kind of hard to stand up, uh, 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 of course. Um, so, uh, never mind. Well, anyways, with these banner sets, which was quite different than we had with the uh, Hogwarts Moments book sets, but, all, but of course only $5 more, but, but are they worth that? Well, 
or in this case, it would uh, kind of bit there, but and of course, one of each house, of course. And well, and also, as you can see, have good use of these uh, curved tile pieces and other uh, tile pieces, and a big large tile piece with the Gryffindor symbol on it, which you can definitely use on some special mocks uh, and stuff if you wanted. And of course, on the sides parts of these, around like, and of course, thickness about like, around three bricks thick. Or at least a two, or it'd be a by three brick kind of thick, kind of thickness to that. So if you're like Hank putting it on the shelf and don't want to use too much shelf space, then oh, which kind of good for that. But then top part of which, which is just couple tiles, just two by six tiles, of course, and also this little uh, new kind of piece for that, which is just to hang around a nail or a tack or something that you for to hang on the wall, of which like so, and of course back side of which just nothing much, but just the other side of that three D picture. Or that for us, which you can, which slides out easily. But here's which the, the 3D picture itself. Although it you can kind of use on display by itself, of course. But and of course this lenticular and it goes side to side. Still kind of nice how that is. Uh, which like with the Cornish pixie kind of popping in and out, and the portrait of Gro Gothard Gryffindor going up and down, and also the trophy increasing in size. And of course the fireplace that has serious Black space in it. And also not much for the staircase there, and not much of anything else there. And of course a little Thestral up in there, like it's just flying right by. So now on to opening it up, where it's like a of this eh? like that, and turn these parts up, and, and you can like turn them in, and got some extra stability to them. And also this little chest board you can just pull right out, and it's a table. And it, all the instructions say also take the two candles out for that. But you can, but you can leave it if you wanted. But yeah, this chest board of which, which you can, which is also nice to see there. But also kind of odd how it's a whole sticker. But whatever. But at least it's also workable in most uh, uh Lego City mocks if you wanted. But yeah. Also, from first glance, also do have these a couple of two identical chair builds, which which do have a couple of tiles on them. But although I think uh, studs could have worked out as well for that, but also one of the hinge parts of which, which to look like a couch on there or a back couch, which nice to, good use of that, of course. And this little window panel piece, which front has like three different other towers of Hogwarts, probably for like the Great Hall or something. And also, on that there's a sticker, well there's a few big stickers in this set. Sticker. And then, also nice build for this chimney, well chimney and fireplace section, with these jagged slopes, and also the Nexonite shield piece that has a sticker saying Gryffindor on it of course. And down below is of course the fireplace that has Sirius Black's face in, or where Sirius Black is, of course. And on the side of which is of course a little chocolate bar, probably from Honey Dukes, and also the Sword of Gryffindor, or which is most likely is. And above which is probably which is a broomstick piece, 
Probably for like championships and Quidditch or something. And also the corresponding colors of Gryffindor up there, of course. There's portraits of that again. And also in front of the trophy part is a golden snitch. Just same as we've had for the last few sets, of course. And on this other side, which do you have reversed uh, plates on there. And also a, a reverse plate on there with a sticker detailing, quite nice. And down below is a, a classic letter piece and a Robin Hood feather piece used as a quill, of course. And also a like large of uh, and also a couple of uh, slopes representing a curtain or something. And also same kind of technique as with the couch on the other side, which but but with a different sticker on it representing a bit of a bookshelf with different books, of course. And also near identical chair build, obviously. But yeah. But aside from that, and now to fold all fold all this back in. If I zoom out, where you just fold these down, and also take the chest table, slide it in there, and close them up. Oh, if you do so properly. And also, as for the chair builds, so which quite nice, good to good that they're hiding behind the back banner parts. Unless if you look down from the side, but at least look at from the front, completely invisible. Can't see, which which good to see there. Unless if you like lower them down a bit to make it stand up well, oh, which would be nice. But yeah. So now for my overall verdict on this set. <clears throat> overall, I think this is which a pretty good set for as is. And for all these uh, banner sets, are they about as good as the, or better than the book sets? I would say about as even. And with them, like at least since they're actual banners instead of just books, of course. But also good to see some stuff representing the different houses, of course. Maybe in the future we'll also get a uh, Bobaxin or whatever. Just saying, of course. But as for the minifig selection, at least we could do get a couple exclusive things like exclusive version of Harry, of course. But also, also nice to see uh, which Angelina Johnson included as well, of course, who we probably haven't seen as yet. But at least nice to see here. But good to see here, of course. But as for the uh, displayability of these sets, I say quite good, but also for the interior space and references and things, uh, which this was quite good for how it is, so especially with the good color scheme representing Gryffindor, and yeah, and of course. Uh, what else? And also nice to see both the Sword of Gryffindor and uh, Golden Snitch together in a sm small cheap set, of course. Was, unless it was like a collectible minifig series from the past, but yeah. And so now, if you're looking to get this set to add to your Banners collection and LEGO Harry Potter set collection, definitely pick this up. And if you are uh, sorted in House of Gryffindor, also, definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.